November 850 Yankee Romeo, a 1982 B60 Duke, serial number 581 of 596 manufactured. This airplane is only 15 from the last Duke manufactured. It has the boundary layer research winglets, vortex generators, and gross weight increase, so the gross takeoff weight on this airplane is 7,000 pounds. Certified for flight into known icing, it's got the boots on the wings, horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer, aren't those nice? They're just beautiful, they're perfect. It has the TSIO 541 Lycoming engines on it with the American Aviation Intercoolers. The TSIO 541 is rated at 380 horsepower. The intercoolers boost that up to about 415. Polished spinners. Electric boots on the propellers. Aren't those nice? Very nice. It also has the ice guards on the nose. Those were recently installed by Jerry Bailey down in Medill, Oklahoma. He did the last annual on the airplane in May of 2017. He's the recognized expert here in America on these airplanes. He knows more about them or as much about them as anybody out there. He's a wonderful guy. It's got the heated windshield that is in perfect condition. There's the other ice guard. Both engines have had a top overhaul within the last couple of hundred hours. They have had the lifters and cams replaced, so that issue has been taken care of. There's new exhaust on both engines. We've got new generators on both engines. We have new pr pressure pumps on the starboard, the right side engine, the one here on the left engine just in an overabundance of caution would be good to replace maybe at the next annual, but it's working fine. Has the fuel gauges in the wing here. Everything on the airplane works perfectly. Heated stall warning vane along with heated fuel vents. It's got the complete strobe system on it with wingtip recognition lights. That's the German flag. I bought this airplane in Germany in 1983 and flew at home across the North Atlantic. Martin Heigenseiker is a German gentleman that imported many Dukes to Germany and he took this airplane and made it his show airplane. It has a full King avionics suite with King electronic flight instrumentation system for the attitude indicator and HSI so you've got a glass cockpit with King radios and GPS and it's got the RDR 2000 vertical profile radar in the airplane. Um, Shadden digital fuel flow. Everything is hooked up with the GPS and, and the avionics, so you've got great fuel to destination. Absolutely no damage history, no corrosion. You can walk around this airplane and look it over as closely as you like, and you will find nothing. Jerry Bailey also installed the aft strakes on it last year, so this has all of the <clears throat> airframe modifications that make it really one of the safest twin engine airplanes out there. Paint on it is way above average. It's just beautiful. Has a leather interior that's beautiful. We'll look at it here in just a little bit. November 850 Yankee Romeo. If you either Google or look on the Duke Flyers website, AOPA Magazine wrote an article in 1982 about the Duke and featured this particular airplane. It's very interesting. Thanks for listening.